Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, live from New York, from Harlem, it's me, Alex, and the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chuck Farnham. He is, Yo. Uh, he, I guess we could refer to you as the former stunt person on my show. Is that, is that a way of, of describing it? Yeah, maybe. You know, I, I did stupid things for a living for a while there. Yeah. Uh, and, and, um, it's good. Yeah. And the last time we were talking, he had gone to Las Vegas. He had all kinds of wonderful adventures trying to get out of a hospital. You know? I did. You know, they, I'm good. I think one of the reasons you said they did, they wouldn't let you leave, this is going back to a story we did a couple of weeks ago, but um, it, it, they wouldn't let you leave the hospital. And I think part of that is they're worried about their insurance. Probably. About you suing them if something happens. That's why. They threw a piece instance, of paper. They threw, were throwing paper at me. Yeah. As I was trying to get out of there. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is that what happens in a hospital is when you want to leave, they put you in a wheelchair. I don't care if you right. went in for warts on your hand. They put you in a wheelchair because they don't want anything horrible to happen to you as you're trying to leave the hospital because you'll sue Worst, them. worst thing that can happen to you in a hospital is not you dying. It's you falling down in your room going to the bat where you're in the bathroom. That's what they told me. Because the amount of paperwork they have to fill out is unbelievable. Really? And how it happened and who's exactly responsible for it. Hmm. Well, I've certainly had my share of going to hospitals, not necessarily spending any amount of time in them, but you know, I've had like uh, two bouts with cancer. Uh, folks, don't don't feel sorry for me. It was nothing serious. I I know when you say cancer, you automatically your mind thinks right. of serious stuff, and the fact is, I had a pro cancer prostate cancer. But it was very minor, and they simply radiated me and then put in seeds, and I'm good to go. Well, not good to go. I don't have really much of a penis left, but, you know. Who does, small really? Small price to pay for life, huh? You know, at this point in my life, 84, I, you know, I, have, I don't want to brag. I had a pretty good penis. Okay. Uh, Mine's very small. Huh? You are? Uh, Mine's very small. Uh, okay, I mine was not that way. Mine was quite the opposite. I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? <laughs> I said I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I mean, I'm not bragging. I was born with it, and uh, in fact, until I was, I don't know, maybe in my mid twenties, late twenties, I didn't realize that all penises weren't the same size as mine. I thought mine they all came it. in the same size. Mine's the same size I was when I was a baby. Really? Well, my, yeah, I mean, my, mine is about the size you are now. See, what happened wow. is with all these things of smashing my prostate flat and, and, and doing one thing and another, uh, it just doesn't like to come out of its shell that often. You yeah, know? it's kind of like it's already done its job and it doesn't need to do anything Well, what else. I felt at 84 is, okay, you know, I had a lot of use out of this thing, okay? And right. the fact that it's not working anymore, so what? You know, I had a good time. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll see you through this time of, of pretty much being like a turtle. Mourning. A You're mourning the youth of your penis. Yeah, yeah well, I'm not mourning it. I, I, I had a good time with it. And, yeah. and thank you very much, penis. I appreciate it. And uh, I know that you're not up to the task any longer, so... I can I can go along with that. I had good use out of it, and I'm 84. If I lived to be 77, I would have never had that problem, but I'd be dead. You know. Well, did your penis have a name? No, never gave it a name. Little Elvis. That's what I call mine. You called yours Little Elvis? <laughs> yeah. 
Why did you name it Little Elvis? I don't know. It just felt good at the time. Needed a name, and I thought Little Elvis. Little Elvis. Hmm. I, I don't seen know. It. Anyway, Seems I'm looking, like the right I'm thing looking to at do. something here. I uh, somehow I got on a list, mailing list, for chocolate.com. Really? Now, what do you think they sell yeah. at chocolate.com? Chocolate? Yeah, that's right, Chuck. Pretty good, huh? Uh, that's terrific. So, and how they got chocolate.com, I don't know. They probably had to pay a whole, great price for it or whatever. Oh, yeah. Because they also have caramel.com, and I think they have like peanuts or something like that, cashews.com. And I wonder where they got all of these. Because I remember years ago when I was working for CNET, Right. CNET made a fortune because in the very beginning, because they were they were into the internet before just about anybody else, they got all kinds of things like coffee.com yep. and very common things, and they they sold them all over the years for millions. Yeah, I know somebody who had uh, a hotel one that uh, yeah, yeah, over in Europe, this European company needed that because it was a special word for hotels in Europe. Mm -hmm. And they wrote him a big check. Really? I keep waiting for somebody to come to me about GabNet. You know, yeah. I think anybody's doing a talk thing. thing would GabNet's be good. great. I'm, nobody's ever asked me if they could buy it. Yeah, and I got it, a few. And, I and it's not GabNet.com. It's GabNet.net, which is really nice. You know, yeah. I like the net as opposed to the com for GabNet. All right. Sure. So anyway, so uh, uh, but uh, anyway, I guess so. There's this chocolate.com. So they sent me this thing. Do you know what I can get at uh, chocolate.com? They're special this week. Chocolate? New, new patriotic malted milk balls. Wow. And and you'd say, what 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 is that? You know, what is? What, yeah. Are they red, white and blue? Yeah, that's right. They're malt milk balls covered with chocolate, but the chocolate is covered with certain colors, which is red, white, and blue. So it's patriotic malted milk balls. Is Number one, I don't that? like malted balls. Well, who does, really? Yeah. Uh, and, and secondly, uh, I, the patriotic part of it just doesn't sit well with me because it's jingoistic. You know. Okay, is this like that 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 bear guy that you had an advertisement deal with that showed up every holiday for like Mother's Day and the bear? Remember, guy. you'd get those those bears. Oh 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 the uh, the Vermont teddy bears. Vermont teddy bears. Oh, they were wonderful. That's like the Vermont teddy bear folks. Do you know? At one point, I must have owned twenty Vermont teddy bears. Not because yeah. I bought them, but because they kept sending them to me. Because I, I sure. was really good. We sold more Vermont teddy bears than even Howard Stern did on radio. It was crazy. Yeah. People love that stuff. Well, I also, you know, I, I, I would pitch them in kind of a, a funny way. You know, like, you know, you had a good, the whole rap that you did was really good and made you want to buy one of them. Yeah. I said, this, is, give a perfect, you that. this is a perfect gift to uh, send to your wife. As an appreciation, and with a little card saying, "I'm sorry, I had sex with your sister." Exactly. You know, and I would do stuff like that, and people liked it because they kept advertising, and so I could get oh, yeah. the product all I wanted to. You know, and I and the, the yep. teddy bears. I got to tell you, I didn't mind pushing those teddy bears because they were great little teddy bears. Yeah, no, they were very well done. They were in the. Stife realm of uh, and, stuff I, and I met the guy who owned the company, the Vermont Teddy Bear Company, and he really? was like Willy Wonka, you know, or some kind of ethereal, happy, wonderful, sweet guy. Yeah, uh -huh. and it, no. at, one, at one point he finally sold the Vermont Teddy Bear Company, and they still make them, but it's not. It just doesn't have the magic that the, right. the, the teddy bears this guy turned out had. So. It was it was really good. It was terrific. I, uh, I you know. I, nice. Yeah. Oh man, I still got I still got six tractors. If you need one. You own six tractors? Yeah, they're out front. Can you ship one out to me? 
I could. It would not be pretty. It's. I like them. I mean, they're cute, but I. I got to get rid of more crap. That's my. Well, uh, why don't we try and get rid of them here by telling people, you never know when you're going to have a need for a tractor. Exactly, and I have many, and there are different colors, and I got little ones, big ones. So he didn't get rid of the house yet. I did. So what did where where are you storing these tractors? Front yard. Of your place? Yeah, I got room. I got and I got a people who drive by think it's probably like a tractor museum. It looks a lot like a tractor museum, but I'm out in the middle of nowhere. When I was driving to Vegas a few weeks ago, dude, it was Yard Art Central all the way to Vegas. People with I, one guy had a concrete mixing truck in his front yard as art. It was amazing. One guy had a train. Yeah, you know, yard art, and it's a thing. Yard art. You wouldn't see yard art in New York because you guys don't have any room for it. We don't have any yards. Right. Well, we take our yards and just put crap in it. Like like in front of the uh, house, I've got this flower bed, right? And I had all these doorknobs. In the flower I, beds? Yeah, and I put the doorknobs in the flower beds. And then the, uh, the little woman yeah, All I could out. imagine was that Chuck finally found something to commune with nature. And he exactly. had a, and he had a, um, a, a, what do you call it, a, a flower bed with flowers in it. Tulips and daisies and things like that. No. No, doorknobs. I put doorknobs in there, and then I started telling you people. You see why I have this guy on this show, folks? I mean, he's crazy. <laughs> I'm fine, really fine. But I, I put them out there, and I didn't say anything to the little woman. And she went out to the gar grocery garbage can or something at some point. And she came back in. She goes, what the hell's going on out there? And I'm like, oh, I'm growing houses, and those are seeds. And, and she looks at me like I'm crazy. And I go, didn't you see that I also use fertilizer? And she goes, let me guess. The fertilizer is the bees to the doorknobs. And I goes, see, now you understand. And she goes, you're growing houses out front by using doorknobs and the keys to them. I go, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I go, it's yard art, and that's my particular, you know, installation. Yeah. So let me ask you, I haven't asked you this. Have you, do you have a girlfriend lately? A little woman. Huh? I'm married. You are married. I think so. I mean, she's here all the time. I mean, did you go out and either that or we're very, either that or we're very, very close. See, I now I didn't know this. I thought you did. No, no. And she would not be seen in public with me at this point. She did not. You know, it's like she don't. She don't want to explain. You know, who wants to explain me? Right? I can't. Yeah. So. She's like, it, like you, I walk. would think that if you had a woman who cared about you and loved you, it would be because of who you are, which is this crazy asshole. I would think so too. But apparently that's not the case. You know, it's just, I mean, I, I did it. And, and then, well, I did tell her there was only going to be one tractor. <laughs> that didn't work out. Then I brought home a cannon one day. That was awesome. And she made, she made, well, she goes in, you know, well, it's just ornamental. What the hell it is? Yeah, this baby is real. And so, yeah, I think she, she puts up with a lot. And let's face it, anybody who's around me much puts up with a lot. Yeah, but I didn't know that you, you had something. So how long have you been in a relationship with this person? With the little woman? Yeah. Ten. See what happened. Ten, 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 ten. Ten, Twelve years. Wow, that's as long as I've been married. Right. Yeah, but you're not married to her. No, no, we're married. You're married. You went out and actually got married. Well, of course, you live in Nevada. You can get married go by going to a gas station. Married. I got married inside the car. There's this a gardening shed. There's a, and and you, yes. It's the gardening shed, and you pull up to it, and they marry you through the window. Wow. 
I mean, it's real, I think, you know. What made you decide to get married? Well, I, I think you're going to, if you're going to spend the plan to spend the rest of your life with somebody is a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, because of insurance and all kinds of, you know, it's cheaper to live, you know, mar it's cheaper to be married mm -hmm. legally. You care about this person. You're going to be with them forever. So why not? That's how I felt I mean, about it. Yeah. yeah. When, when Marjorie, Marjorie proposed to me on leap day, which is when women can propose to the guy. Okay. Okay. It's Sadie Hawkins day. Right, right. Oh, yeah. I remember that when I wasn't invited to any dances at high school. Thank you, people. Yeah, but anyway, so so uh, uh, she said to me, will, will you marry me? And I stopped for a second, thought about it, and went, eh, it couldn't hurt. You know, it, why, or why not? I think maybe that's what yeah. I said is why not? And, at some point, and, you and just so get we got, old we got and married, like, you know? You know, at some point, you're old and you... You're comfortable with the person and you want to continue to be comfortable with the person and you may as well just if the government's the only thing keeping you you know apart just do it let me ask you this do you have joint bank accounts hmm no i don't think we do I, then i don't think you're oh, no married. no I, we I, do. We you're do. not really married then no no we have joint joint bank accounts Oh, okay. I was confused. Marjorie and I never had joint bank accounts, but recently when I got this influx of money, which uh, which in, at this time in my life was a godsend to get, although somebody had to die in order for me to get it, which that right. didn't make me very happy. Uh, but as long as it was going to happen, it made it was it was I I thank my friend for leaving me money. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Uh, but uh, we never had joint bank accounts. But now, since all this money is coming, we we've now combined all our stuff, all our Vanguard accounts, and all of that. And uh, right, uh, you know, so her money is my money now. My money is her money. Yeah. But it wasn't that way until gee, a month or two ago. Right. Until, it just that makes more sense, I think. Until then, like if we had to pay the uh, rent, she sent half of the rent charge to my business to me to pay for it. You You're know? still using uh, Gary? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Gary has okay. turned us on to another person here in New York who deals with people who have lots of money, and he's putting it in places where we can get to it anytime we need it. But in the meantime, it's making us money. It's good. Yeah. So it's, it's it's all it's all good, you know. But uh, uh, Gary, who is my business manager, folks, uh, right. he turned me on to this guy. And Gary's Gary's a good guy. Yeah. And as was his brother. Uh, yeah, his brother too, who is long gone, of course. You know. Well, some breaking news. Buy phone, get a phone, watch. dude. What's on my watch here? Louisiana lawmakers passed a bill that would make abortion pills controlled substances. Man, are these people crazy? What kind oh, yeah. of shitty country are we living Ooh. in? Ooh, when I was in Vegas, I got a new tattoo. No. Yeah. How many tattoos do you have? Well, I only have like one. I have Groucho marks on my arm. But, now, but I can never see it because it's way up on my shoulder and you know, okay, so what, one, what is what is this latest tattoo? Let me, let me see the latest tattoo. Let me see if I can get this thing into an angle for you. Can you see that? No, no. Okay, move your move your camera over. Let me. Is there a way to hold on here? Man, if I wasn't well, blind, just hold your arm hurt. in front of the lens. I would imagine. Huh? Well, I don't. Well, we just see the edge of it. now. There it is. Oh, it's you're slowly. We not yet. What is up that? or down? What is that? It's it's a sombrero, alien spaceship, beaming up a taco. I didn't get that. Looking at it, yeah. Did you tell him what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. It looks like an alien spaceship 
Okay. Sombrero, beaming up a So taco. being married, you come home with a new tattoo. Yeah. What did she say? Kind of what you just did. What is that? <laughs> Almost exactly the word. You know, you I, I would I would hate to be married to you for only one reason. All the explanations I would have to give people. Well, about, see, that's the problem with uh, with Junior. He comes in the room, or he'll go, you know, he'll go. Can you keep this short? <laughs> Because he doesn't want to hear the drawn-out explanation. He just wants the data. Mm -hmm. You don't want the long, okay, Dad, what's going to happen? Where are we? We're doing where... Uh, and then about halfway through my conversation, he's leaving the room already. Now, we're, we're, I go, do you understand? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have just given me the two points there. I'd have been fine. So where, okay. where, where, does, where does Junior live? Here. Oh, really? That's a lot of space. And how old is Junior? I don't know, he's like 700. No, I mean, how old is Junior? <laughs> uh, mid 20s. And he's mid, still oh, and he's still living at and he's still living at home. Wouldn't you want to be around this all day long? Oh, of course, of course. The joy, the happiness, uh, the, the happiness, fulfillment, the love, um, and having to explain you know. who your father is to your friends. Yeah, well, yeah, you have to do a lot of that. You know, they're, hey, did you did you know your dad, you know, every once in a while he'll come in with one of those. Did you know your dad did blah, blah, blah? I just tell him to never pay attention to the Internet. This is one of the weirdest people I've ever known. And he, I'm sorry. And you, and no, you, you take great, uh, great uh, joy I'd, in I'd that. like to not be me, but I don't know how. And what you are is, I think, sensational. I'm glad to hear and, that, Alex. And highly entertaining. I just wouldn't want to be your wife and have to explain to people. Do you think I like being me? Like, for instance, I don't sit they, would, and go, they would say, what does your husband do for a living? I'm retired. Retired from what? Wife. You're basically retired from being Chuck Farnham? Kind of, unless I'm in a stupid location where somebody goes, hey, I know that voice, mm -hmm. and then I apologize. Wow, I'm completely out of sync now. Let me put myself in sync. Here we go. There we go. Are we in sync? Yeah, I mean, no, we're not. you know, I'm, I'm slowly retiring from being Chuck Farnham. If I'm let out of the house, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm now no longer leaving the house by myself, by the way. Oh, really? Nope. Like, I want to do this train trip, right? Yeah. But I'm only going to do it with somebody else because I don't think I should be alone. Wow. In case you have, well, what if you have a medical problem? You don't want to have a medical problem on a train by yourself. You want to have a friend there. Right. Right. I'm trying to figure out, I'm, I'm out of sync now. All of a sudden, this happens. I'm buying a new, more powerful computer when I can bring myself to do it. That I think I'm looking at. I'm, I am looking at them as well. We'll solve this problem, but what are you using now? I'm using the Apple Studio, but it it gets down to uh, uh, a small amount of uh, of of uh, what do we call it? Uh, Ram. Here, I'll make it freeze here for a second. Yeah, I, it gets down to a lot of lower memory, and I wind up having a problem with it. Can't you just add memory to it? Hmm. Well, and no, you, you can't. Say. You can't. This is like an Apple. Apple, you can't add memory. Oh, when you buy it, you can choose different yeah. memory sizes. Mm -hmm. I think you can add memory. No, you can't. I think they're. I, I think I could add memory, but I'd have to go down to the Apple store and have them. Do it. Talk to the geniuses. Oh uh, yeah, right. Yeah. You know. Well, excuse yeah, me, I've been folks, looking if, at, I'm, uh, if I'm computers. completely out of sync, but I can't, I don't seem to be able, well, wait a minute, that's better. Okay, wait a minute, hold on a second. There we go. Now, there, there we go. I'm in sync now. I don't know why I go out of sync. I can't figure it out. 
But who cares? It could be the internet speed and not necessarily the memory. Yeah. Uh, we are running out of time here. Can you believe? No, not us. And I never got around to half the questions I wanted to ask you. So we'll have to ask you them next time. Exactly. Maybe then I'll have a new computer. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the weirdest person I know. And I'm happy to call him friend. His Thank you. Love you, buddy. Name is Chuck Farnham, folks. Bye, Chuck. See you later. Now in its 10th year, this is Gadnet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, there goes Chuck. Thank you very much, Chuck. By the way, you know, you saw all that, uh, that uh, out of sync and stuff like that. But we find now with the new computer, that's gone. That doesn't happen anymore. So we're happy with that. Anyway. Uh, so we're ready to go do our show. We have uh, two people waiting online to talk to us. And that, that time seems good to me. How about you? Uh, would you agree with that? Okay, let me see here. Let me admit these people and uh, get them on here and uh, see what happens. There we go. They're, come, they're popping in. There they are. Hello there. How are you guys? Good. There's, uh, there's Josh and there's uh, Alan. And, oh, here comes Brian Neary. Uh, he's joining the, uh, the group. Oh, and he's out. I've never seen him like that before. Hello, Brian. Hello. Hello. Uh, are there people making noise out there? Hey, yeah, uh, maybe I'll put myself on mute. Hold on. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm at a restaurant waiting to get our table. Oh, really? <laughs> the Taco Bell, 34 cent tacos. I wish. I'm going to end up paying for this one. Are there 34 uh, cent tacos Diamond. now? Yeah, they're advertising yes. it. The CEO right. of the corporation that owns Taco Bell is not a fan of Trump. Oh, okay. Anyway, what were you going to say there, uh, Brian? <laughs> I think he's probably taking the family out to dinner tonight. So. This at? so anyway, there he is. There he is. I didn't know they had palm trees in Lodi. <laughs> no, uh, Simon graduated, so we're having a dinner for him tonight. Isn't that nice? nice? That's very nice. Oh, look at look at this one. Look at this one. Hello. Hello. Well, well, there she is. Oh, look at her. Where Where are you guys going for dinner? We're at uh, Krung Thai. It's a Thai food restaurant. I've heard of it. Good food in San Jose or something. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Wait a minute. What is this? Yeah. What, what's my problem here? Oh, I don't know why I don't. Uh, why I'm not. Uh, why I can't find out if I have. I should be. This is wrong. There's something wrong here. Let me see here. Let me do something here. I'm trying to, I've suddenly, I noticed that I've lost my, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're fine. I was missing something over here. Anyway, well, uh, well don't let us interrupt your dinner. I mean, I, it's nice of you to join us, but you didn't have to interrupt dinner to do that for us, you know? No, no, we're waiting for our table. And I just want to make sure somebody called or, you know. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. Sleep. We got somebody in here. We got Kilroy was here. There we go. Right. Half of Jeff again. Half of Dre Jeff. Yeah. Uh, Jeff? Jeff, can you hear us? Yeah. Huh? I had to take my earplugs out. Oh, yeah. Well, now sh make your camera so we can see your whole face. <laughs> can we see your whole face? J Jeff, can you hear me? I don't know. Oh, well. I don't know. He'll, 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 get, he'll get around to it. Yeah. I, I'm sitting by the front door of my house waiting for Publishers Clearinghouse to show up with a check. Really? That's the only way my day could be any better. Why? Oh, oh, oh I see. Why, why was your day good today? Trump lost all 34. He's a convicted felon. Yeah. He didn't hear the news. I, I didn't hear about that. Explain it to me. Tell me about it. Oh, come on. 
Really? They they convicted him? Uh, all 34 charges. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the news today, so yeah. I, I guess I missed yeah. out on that. Yeah, they really did, and that's why I'm sitting here waiting for Publishers Clearing now. That, that could make my day even better. It could better make the day perfect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He made the announcement to all of us to let us know, so thank you, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, it was a, that was quite a thing today. I mean, yeah. I figured, uh, you know, there are 34 counts. Maybe they'd find him guilty on 10 counts or something like that. All 34. All 34. <clears throat> um, and he is now officially, right, Josh? A felon, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Wow. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, As a felon in most places, you can't vote, but Florida Ray said he's welcome to continue to vote. Who said that he was able to? Florida. Uh, oh, who Florida. said he was able to continue to vote? Florida did. Oh, really? Isn't that nice? Oh, okay. But there's certain I mean, there's certain states where he can't vote now. Not in California. Not in California, and uh, also there are places that he can't do a lot of different things. You know, you can't. I don't know why, if in certain states, uh, if you're a felon. You can't vote, but you can run for president? <laughs> yeah, go figure. That doesn't Austin make sense, does it, Josh? That, I think. You'd be a well, Supreme Court. Well, it does in the fact that presidential qualifications or qualifications to run for president are laid out by the Constitution, and it doesn't prohibit a criminal record from from doing so you just have to be at least 35 years old and a natural born citizen in the united states why why didn't they consider that maybe they just didn't consider that anybody would, uh, any criminal would run for president well, that's a fairly likely assumption well this is the first president that we have or ex-president that's a felon right mm -hmm. yeah yeah or that's ever been he's tried number one. huh he's number one yeah no. Uh, I hear that uh, RFK is suing CNN because uh, they're not putting him on the debate with uh, Trump and Biden. And Trump says good, and Biden says bring him on. Well, yeah. What, what, Trump says good? Why? Tr Trump doesn't want him on the debate floor either. CNN has left him off. He's only, people can only vote for him in five states so far. For RFK Jr. Well, I think that it, it, to me, it's always been wrong, though, that in spite of that small number, okay, right. that anybody who's running for president can't be in the debate. You know, they always used to have this thing where they would run the uh, the th three people or something who were leading, and they would mm -hmm. run them the, the Democrat, the Republican, whatever, right. and uh, then. Um, that kind of all stopped. But they also, what they did is they had what I called the, you know how when you were a kid and it was, uh, you went to a dinner with your family, they had the kids' table? Well, they had the kids' table for people running for president. Remember they used to take like the other three parties and let them all have at it with some kind of debate which nobody covered? You know, mm. I always thought that was unfair. I always thought that in this democracy where we'd like to encourage as many parties as are humanly possible, you know, uh, that they would allow everybody to have an equal voice. But I think the reason Trump is against it and Biden's for it is because there's been a lot of polls that say that RFK Jr. will take votes away from Trump. Well, I'm. Uh, they I, they think that that's, know if that's true yeah. or not. Well, now the question, uh, the question, of course, everybody is trying to figure this one out. Mm -hmm. And I, I would ask Josh first. Josh, how do you think this is going to affect Trump's chances for being president, being a felon now? Well, I don't think it affects among his people for sure, but I think it'll have some effect on, you know, people who are sort of more open-minded about it i don't know if you want to call them independents or undecided everybody's talking no wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, we're hearing we're hearing jeff talking yeah, we can hear him. yeah. Go, anyway Sorry, guys. 
Yeah, continue. Or, or whatever you can, you know, want to label them. But mm-hmm. I don't think any criminal conviction is good for anybody that's running for office. I mean, there were a lot of people that made the argument that him getting indicted was actually going to be good for him and it was and all that. And I think that only applies to his hardcore supporters who were going to vote for him anyway. But, you know, among one of the people I remember specifically saying it, you know, Chris Christie at least made the argument that, you know, he laughed at that. And he, you know, he said no criminal indictment is good for anybody. There is no one alive that wants to be indicted for felony crimes. There might be people that say that on TV or whatever, but there is no one sitting at home alone in their room with only their thoughts who says, I really hope I get indicted for federal, you know, yeah. for felony crime. Golly I really gosh, hope. I hope it. It's good for raising money. Yeah, as much as he talked crap, he sure didn't look happy leaving the courtroom. No, he didn't. No, he didn't look happy. But secondly, he makes all these claims about, oh, and it, we were cheated out of a, a decent trial and blah, 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 Well, blah. he's saying that the whole time but, anyway. But wait a minute, but he had the chance to testify. Right? And tell his side of the story. He could have spoke. And he never did it. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, typical, though. And, yeah. you know, I, I looked it up just to be sure because he made this argument that they held the trial where he, you know, we were only at 5%. You know, and only 5% of the people voted for him there. And I looked it up to be sure. And Manhattan is made up of nine New York City council districts that are what vote in presidential election and of those nine districts in all of Manhattan, not just the one with Trump Tower, all the ones that surround it, he didn't get less than 9% in any of them. So the fact that they selected 12 jurors plus I believe four alternates, which means 16 people were selected and that at least one of 16 didn't make it on to the jury, that's mathematically doesn't compute with you know, oh, it's I almost a certainty that someone voted for him, perhaps in 2020, that was on that jury. I think so, there's a v- very good chance of that, if not more. Correct. You know, and I mean, the math proves that out, you know. So. And yet this was an overwhelming, uh, de- you know, decision by the jury. Uh, it was overwhelming. So now but, he, he has the right to appeal to the court. And if that doesn't go well, then he has to go to the appellate court in New York. And it's a strange name, but that's what it's called. And if that doesn't work, then he can ask the U.S. Well, appealing is going to the appellate court. What's that? Appealing is going to the appellate court. I understand that, but in most places they just call it another court. Well, there are two two you can use. I mean, you can file for an appeal to the appellate court. And failing that, you can file an appeal. Uh, at least that's what happened in my case. We, I mean, I didn't have to do it, but our mm-hmm. landlords did it. And they lost both, by the way. Right. When you appeal in, in, in most states, when you appeal, your chances of winning your appeal are not very good. His first appeal is to the court that he just was in. And he can't do anything until they sentence him. Well, once they sentence him, then he can appeal. But... Right. Usually, when he's found guilty or anybody's found guilty, right, of a felony, after the judge has proclaimed what his sentence is going to be or blah, 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 what's the next thing they do? Yeah. Lock them up. Yeah. No. They I, handcuff I'll tell you him. why they won't lock him up, well, in my, my opinion. His age. Um, it, well, it, wait, it's wait, a, wait it's I, that's, a, that you're ridiculous there. If you no, no, I'm serious. So, wait a minute. Let, let me go through. They my may, plan. they may let you out the next day or later that day, but you're walking out in handcuffs. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they'll they'll book them, but but they that may or may not. They'll book them and then release them. But but the, the, he's not going to spend time in jail because of his age, because he's never been convicted of any crime, uh, because he's a former president, you know, and you can go on and on. He's not going to spend time in jail. But does that mean time. that I can go out and commit murder and I'm not going to go no, to jail? No, it doesn't. You, any one of us here would, would, would be in prison the whole time that this was going on. 
You know, there was, according to him, there was no favoritism. Well, Rikers Island, which is the big prison here in, in, uh, Man, in Manhattan, in New York yeah. City, um, says they're getting ready for him. They've got a special area for him that's separate from the rest of the prison. Nice. Yeah. yeah nice. Hopefully yeah. they get Isn't there a white-collar crime prison somewhere out there? Right. That, that's it. That's the prison you go oh, to for one? everything, and then there, it, maybe you go to a white-collar prison. You know? Right. They can't put them in general population with all the other inmates, so there's probably a white-collar crime area. Where did Bernie Madoff go? Didn't he go there? Madoff, the Madoff, did he go to Rikers? I can't remember whether he was in Rikers, but after that, I, it wasn't, was Madoff a federal crime? I'm trying to remember. Because he didn't, he didn't wind up going to a, um, a facility here in New York. Oh, maybe it was. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I believe it was, yeah. Yeah, it was federal. Oh, yeah. okay, so he went to federal court. Yeah, okay. yeah. So he would have never even gone to Rikers. Federal prison, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Anybody who's convicted of a felony in New York City goes to Rikers. Okay. Lucky them, they get to watch planes take off and land. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then if they they are, are found completely guilty, I mean, you know, then they mm. they go to some prison here in New York State. I don't I don't know that. You know, I don't know what the judge is going to do. What I would do if I were the judge is I would sentence him to home confinement. With a, you know, the thing with home confinement is he can still invite TV cameras in and still preach his, his whatever. Well, that's fine. That's it's okay by me. But he's got to wear that little ankle bracelet and he can't leave the home. Right. Know? Absolutely. You know. Which you does he have to? stay in his house in New York? Uh, I believe so, yeah. If they did that, you know. Because effectively, I think he says he lives in Florida. He l says he lives in Florida, but, does. Y you know, I don't think... This is strange. You see, I mean, he, he was found guilty here. I wonder if somebody's found guilty here, but they live in another state, and you want to give them home confinement. Does that mean they get to go back to their home state to live in their home for home confinement. I don't know. See, what do you? What, I, I would think so. Anybody? I think they can. They can. Yeah. They just have that state watch them. Oh. Did, put them on the, it, you know, put a collar with, on them or whatever, and do it there. Yeah. They did it with Sammy the Bull Gravano. He was especially if it was him. He was sentenced in 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 New York, mm -hmm. and they give him home. Stay at home. They get well. They put him in witness protection. Right. They put him in witness protection. And then, yeah, right after Witsec, then he got convicted of another crime, bringing drugs into the country, and they put an ankle bracelet on him. But he get to he get to live in Arizona or wherever New Mexico. I wonder if he's they put him on community service. He has to clean up freeways in New York or Florida. Oh, that would be cute. <laughs> I wonder how many points you get for running into him accidentally. <laughs> See the guy with the horn on the side of the road. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I forgot to blow it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a big I brush. Did. Yeah. I, yeah, I, put him uh, put him in pink underwear and make him uh, make him clean up trash on the side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's it, it certainly this is a very. Wouldn't you call this a historic day? Um, oh yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's not every yeah. day that you can get thirty-four cent tacos at Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hammer that one home constantly. No, I'm done with it. Okay. I just I went there to get some fast food, and they had a sign that said 34 cent taco. When they say fast food at Taco, that's the Taco Bell. That's not the uh, the it's kind of service you get. It's just the way it comes out of you. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a good laxative. It's cheap. Yeah. But um, um, there's no Taco Bell fans. You would you would consider this historic, wouldn't you, Josh? I mean, um, it's right. never happened, right? No, sure. I mean, you know, still a lot to develop and more to come. But I mean, I think that it's it's a good thing for uh, future presidents to now understand that the office is not quite as powerful and as you know whitewashing of things that get done is maybe they were slowly but surely getting used to so yeah. 
you know, they have to watch themselves a bit. And, yeah, it's 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 historic because, it you know, one, it hadn't happened before. I mean, that makes it historic. But, you know, I think later on, as things clear up in the decades past, you know, there'll be a lot of evidence, I'm sure, that comes out in the record that shows that Trump was a pretty bad guy, you know? So I think it'll be vindicated in the long run, too. Personally, I, I I think now that he's convicted in New York, the next trial is is in Georgia. It's supposed to start in August, and if he gets convicted there, he won't be a first offender. They might give him a harsher sentence. Well, that's another local um, um, trial. We've yet to go to any of the trial. federal trials, which were and those know. are on hold forever. It's a I don't know I don't know what they did. They, they said in the news the other day that had this this guy, the prosecutor, Smith, instead of putting him in Florida with a judge that he, that Trump appointed in 2020, if they had done it in Washington, D.C. For the, for the documents in his house, he would have been in trial already. It probably would have been over with, you know? So she is she's trying every which way she can to extend this past Well, November. they say her problem is not so much that she's pro-Trump, which obviously she is because Trump gave her her job. Right. But uh, uh, that she's just inexperienced and doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Yeah, this is a pretty big case for somebody that's inexperienced. Yeah. Angry. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's, I think, the first or second trial she's ever proceeded over. As yeah. a federal judge, right? Yeah. 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 So. It's a mess. Whatever. So. Uh, what do you think, Josh? Do you think they'll put him in jail? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what the typical uh, punishment for this particular state crime is. I mean, I've heard it reported that that this this particular crime is prosecuted uh, very often in New York, uh, many times per year. If you take it out over decades, they've prosecuted this particular statute, I heard thousands of times, with many convictions. So I, I, but I don't know what, you know, those folks got. My favor would be, I mean, I would just like to see him get whatever people get that normally break this law. I don't want him to get any less because of who he is, and I don't want him to get any more because of who he is. If right. people who break this particular crime, you know, almost mm -hmm. in all the cases are in incarcerated for a short period of time, or maybe it's a long period of time, then that's what he should get. If they're not, then, uh, then they shouldn't be. I mean, we certainly incarcerate people for petty crimes a lot, in my opinion, in United States. So for him to cry about it, whatever. I'll just ignore that. It happens he, all the time. Except well, this. that's what the judge is supposed to do. He's supposed to look at right. the the charges, take the name out of it, and take into consideration thirty four counts, and the fact that he also had to reprimand him ten times uh, for uh, possible contempt during the whole court proceedings, and then yeah. the, the other crap that he was pulling. And you know, take his name out of it altogether, and then put together what could be a possible sentence. That's what he's supposed to do. And if, it doesn't matter whether it's Trump or not. Yeah. New yeah. York Times a couple minutes ago posted that the Class E felony, which is what they charged him under, yeah. a low-level low felony, uh, about seventy percent of the time gets no jail time, and about ninety percent of the time the maximum jail time. Is uh, up to six months. Six months, yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of people on probation. But he could, by law, get up to. I, I think it was up either four, four years, four something years, like four yeah. years per count or something. Well, I mean, what he could do, oh, it, what oh, the yeah, judge could right. do, is charge him, sentence him to four years, suspended sentence. You know, that's possible too. Absolutely. But then a it goes on the record, you know, that he got four years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he screws up again, then they could uh, revoke that and take him to prison. you got to realize, he's now two for two. This is the second trial he's lost. The other one was the other one that took place here in New York. 
But that, and was that a still hasn't case. gone to the appeal yet, has it? They have to do it within a certain amount of time, and I'm trying to remember what the amount of time is. The uh, if they don't do it within, if they, well, no, I think they filed it already because I think they had to file it within 30 days, the appeal, something mm -hmm. like that. And if they don't, then they don't get an appeal. Well, he came up with 175 million, so. That was what it was. They had to come up with that money. He came up with it. And so the appeal is official. Right. I wonder when they're going to try him on that. Well, they're not, they don't try you. They do, the appeals court looks at your arguments about why uh, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be found guilty or whatever, and then they make a decision based on that. Wrong, wrong choice of words by me. I understand. Yeah, there's no trial. You're, you're, you're right. Wrong choice of words. Yeah. And if the appeals people... Uh, don't rule in his favor. It's all over, you know. It's yeah, all she wrote. That was a lot of money. Because in my case, uh, our uh, landlords went to the went to the uh, appellate court, and then they went to the court of appeals. There's also a court of appeals, and in both mm -hmm. cases, they were rejected by both those yeah. groups. Uh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the new Melania My Pillow to come out. Or something like that to raise with more money for him. I don't know. Well, you know, he, he, I'm getting a little tired. I wish he would change his act a little bit. I think we're all getting a little tired of his wee, 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 crying, crying, crying. Yeah, we have no idea what he wants to do other than go after everybody if he becomes president. He has no agenda how he's going to fix the country. Right. Because yeah, he, had, he had, we don't even know who his vice president's going to be. All, all he's ever done is is cry and moan. Yeah, you know that's all he's, he's a, done. He's a big crybaby. But I just want to know, and if there's anybody out there listening to me who can tell me, right now, why would you vote for this guy? He's a felon. He's a rapist. Okay, you know, come on, this isn't the kind of decent human being you want to have leading our country. Now, I'm not saying that you should vote for Joe Biden or want Joe Biden, but certainly to want Trump. Hmm. You know? I mean, I'd even understand if you said, I love Ron DeSantis, okay? That's your opinion. But he doesn't have this baggage on him. I mean, this guy is a convicted felon, and in a civil suit, he was uh, had to pay out money because of a case of uh, well he really they didn't get him on rape did they initally they got him on uh, saying nasty things about the woman who was charging and then he him with the rape. Keep his mouth shut the second time around. Yeah, and then the second time he did it, and then they charged him even more. Yep. Oh, I wonder wow. what the judge is going to do about the penalties uh, against Trump in this trial for you know violation mm -hmm. of the gag rule. I don't know. He'll probably take that into consideration when he sentences them. What is it, July 11th or something like that? July 11th, yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's a, that's a sentence hearing. I don't know if that's actual sentencing. Would that be actual sentencing, uh, yep. Josh? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to put up with Tony for a week. He'll go crazy. <laughs> yeah. I got a couple of questions for you. No. Yeah, but you, you ask me if you ask me a few questions, Tony. Uh, you know what I would ask? You know what I was going to ask you, Alex? I was just reading an article on uh, Rudy. I didn't watch Rudy go live today, but now Rudy chipped in. He, Rudy's following the same plot line of Trump. He's calling this a Marxist plot to take over the country. He's a saying Marxist, that a Marxist plot to take over the country. Would you please tell me where the Marxists are these days? And the, and I, it's the I, demented I, yeah. dictator. Joe hmm? Biden. I'm going to tell you something. Demented dictator. Yeah, Joe this Biden. is the words, and I'm on. These are the exact words from Rudy Giuliani. Rudy, who said, "Remember, remember, Rudy, who says he stopped the mob." Really, Rudy? You mean as soon as he took office, they never did business again? He's a fucking liar, this guy. Yeah, I, no, no. I heard him call Biden a communist and a Marxist the other day, and I. I I mean, I guess if I were Biden at the debate, I would just be like, hey, if you can go right now to the chalkboard and spell communist and Marxist back to back <laughs> directly, I'll fucking drop out of the race right now. <laughs> well, you know what I don't understand? Crazy. This whole idea of, oh, communists, they're communists and they're Marxists and so on. 
th that ideology doesn't even exist anymore. Mm -hmm. It hasn't existed for 50 years. You no, know, as I told uh, it was Patrick and Kevin the other day, this one of the things that helped the fascists succeed was blaming it on the Marxist and the communist. If you don't remember correctly, Hitler was all about the communist and the Bolsheviks and Russia and blah, 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 and it went on and on and on. They fucking well, if, bitched and moaned about them and got everybody all riled up about it. So, if, you're, if you're working in Hitler's style, what you do is you create a myth of some kind of uh, a horrible, looming they thing going it. on out there. Yeah. And then... You tell everybody you'll fix the problem, but it doesn't even exist. Exactly. It doesn't even exist. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a big lefty, right? I I knew. Uh, no. We know. Yeah. No, but back in the '50s, I knew some people who were communist sympathizers and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I I got to tell you, I haven't bumped into a communist or a Marxist in 30, 40 yeah, years. Yeah, well, it's, they okay. were probably taken out by the loco Mexicans that came from the insane asylum. Oh, oh well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today he was again with the he was talking about the Mexicans who were coming who were coming from the insane what? asylums and were rapists and whatever. <coughs> and he says, yeah. and I'm getting convicted. What? Yeah, you, <laughs> you know, uh, first of all, l l point out one of those rapists, will you? I can point one out. You. 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 <laughs> Does it look for me? Who is this I mean, guy all the here? things he's, conv he's yeah. all the things he is, has accused the Mexicans of, he's guilty of himself. You know, it's just yeah. amazing. Well, it's I mean, how long do we have to put up with this moron? I'm just... I'm, I'm really <laughs> hoping I wake up and I read his obituary, really. But like, he just, oh, just, wouldn't uh, that be great, Tony? Oh, man, I'd rather... I, I, I'd buy, you talk, I'd buy you talk yeah. tacos, Tony. Oh. It's, 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 you know, <laughs> just interesting, like I said, that there was this huge narrative in the late 30s in Germany about communists and Marxists and the Bolsheviks and all that. It's just interesting that all this about Biden really developed in the last couple of weeks. You, I mean, I didn't really hear the key words Marxist or communist. I didn't hear it either until recently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just interesting that, like, they've, it's evolved into, like, I mean, I said, if, look, if you can go to the whiteboard and you can spell communist and you can spell Marxist and you can get both of them correct, I'll give mm. some of my votes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it, these people who are yelling and screaming, they're Marxists, they're communists. You ask them just to define the communist and Marxist. Yeah. They can't define it. They don't know what they are. They just heard they were somebody terrible. Yeah. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Hey, Alex, when you guys, when I heard, I was my brother texted me from the city because he works across from the courthouse for 311. Mm -hmm. And when he texted me, I was barbecuing my hamburgers. I was like, 30, he says he's all guilty. I says, no way. I ran back. I turned this thing off. I turned my, uh, I went in the house and I was watching uh, CNN. I was like, holy shit. And then I went over to Fox. It's like a talk. Judge Janini was losing her fucking weight. Well, well, I, I, I tuned over there. The, I tuned, tur uh, turned over there. Yeah. Yeah, I turned Did over. Did you see there. her, Alex? No, I didn't see her, but I saw oh, all those disgusting. other people telling me about a trial I never heard existed. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, she yeah. was like spitting fire. They must pay her a lot of money to put on a good performance. Uh, well, I don't know why they haven't gotten rid of her years ago because she's gotten Fox in a lot of trouble from time to time. Judge Judy? Jan no. What's her name? Janine. Janine, Janine I yell at her. I call her an idiot. Oh. Janine uh, uh, Pirro is her name? <laughs> yeah, that's her, yeah. My mother and me hated it. We used to yell at her. I said, my, my mother thought she dated Trump. Was that true? She dated Trump? I have no that's idea. That's my mother thought. She must have dated Trump. I said, I, I don't even know how I mean, you could throw anybody against the wall. It might stick. I said, with this guy. Well, uh, she hated her. She used to, thought she wore a wig. I said, I thought there was a red hair there. I said. Yeah, that, that, well, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I tuned them over there, and I was just listening to what they were saying, and I was going, come on, what world do you live in? You know? I had to go over to just to see how they would react. I, I mean, you, you know, t believing in a democracy, uh, would you agree with me on this, Josh and, uh, and, and um, uh, Kevin? Believing in a democracy is believing in the 
tools of that democracy. And one mm -hmm. of the biggest tools of a democracy that we have is the American judicial system. Mm -hmm. and, and holding it in kind of some kind of respect and allowing it to go through its process. Trump had every chance to get his word in court, you know? He didn't take some of it. He had bad lawyers, I have to say. I think they really were amazingly bad. Uh, so maybe it didn't work on his behalf, but he certainly, with the money he has, the power he has, had all the, the basis for getting himself the fairest possible trial he could get. And he was given a lot of leeway in all of this. He you was. Know, more than you he was and given I, more leeway than a normal person would. More he, than he you and I would ever get. He got a very fair trial. He had yeah. fair... I don't understand what his, what his issue is. He got everything that anybody else would have gotten and more. He yeah. got a lot of leeway. He should have been pulled for contempt of court after at least the fifth one. Yeah, but you uh, know, it, it, and it, he still got away with it to the to the tenth. Yeah, and, and he still walked away. He had a contingency of lawyers there that probably won't get paid because he lost. <laughs> Janine but, Pirro, Janine Pirro, it's somebody. Uh, Charlie, is this our Charlie? Charlie said she um, dated Bernard Carrick. Oh, oh, the other crook is friend of crime. Yeah, that's uh, whatever. We did jail time. Well, that's oh, that's yeah. uh, what's his name is partner. Um, yeah, the yeah, trial was yeah, right. Rudy the knows the criminal fixed. who does business with him. <laughs> they but, set the whole trial up. It's just a fix. Yeah, yeah, they they did this whole thing. They set it all up months ahead of time, and it was yeah, it was all well, fixed. Bernard it was Carrick just like a big was play. down there. At, Bernard Carrick was down there at his trial uh, one day. Wearing the red tie and the, yeah. Well, that's, I, I were ever on trial for anything, that's who I hope would show up. Well, I have a very good friend. <laughs> I have a very good friend. Her name is uh, Judith Regan. <laughs> and Judith Regan um, uh, was a publisher, very famous publisher here in New York. Regan Books, Regan Books. Uh, and um, I got to know Judith, and I, th I think the world of her, I, I, you know. And we got along really well. She was ha working at the uh, Sirius XM, and I used to have her come on my show. And one night we were down in the village somewhere. We were either were getting something to eat with a bunch of people or whatever. And she and I are walking back to her apartment. And I said to her, you know, I, I understand you went with Bernard Carrick. And she said, oh, yeah, I was a number with Bernard Carrick for quite a while. She doesn't deny it. And I said, you know, Judith, I look upon you as a very intelligent, decent woman. How could you possibly have anything to do with Bernard Carrick? I mean, just knowing him is enough, but having, you know, a relationship with him? And she says, call me wrong. I'm attracted to power. That's all she said to me about it. She didn't make any excuses for it. She says, I know it was a bad judgment on my part, you know. And then I asked her about Giuliani and, and Carrick. And I said, are they criminals? And she said to me, this was, I'm quoting her directly, she said, you have no idea. Tell me that. You know. So here it was America's mayor, <clears throat> and she, all she could say about him was, boy, is that guy a crook. There you go. You know, so I think it was more smoke and mirrors with him. I think whatever he got, they probably gave him to make him look like he was doing something, Rudy. In fact, I asked uh, uh, her about these things on my show about Carrick and her, and she said the same thing. She said, "I'm just, I was just, I'm just addicted to power." You know, she, I, she says, "I like powerful men," and he was a powerful man. And at that time, he's lost a lot of weight. He was a big fat. Pig. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. You know, so it was. It wasn't even that he was an asshole. He was a big fat pig to boot. You know, so when I said, "How could you have a relationship with him?" It was on two different levels there. You know, uh, but uh, uh, the fact is that that whole group, whether it's Trump or Giuliani or Carrick or whatever, they're all modern day versions of the mob. Okay, and mm -hmm. and and. One of the members of the mob just got convicted, you know. Theoretically, yeah. 
And this is this is making up for lost time. I mean, he should have I mean, been convicted scared. years he, he ago. He danced in the raindrops probably for his whole life. I bet you. What? He probably danced around the rain for a while to finally hit it. Meaning, like you know, the law caught up to him. Well, I mean, he's gotten away with it for years. Just gotten, just sneaked by, you know. Yep. And so this time they, they caught him, you know. And uh, I'm so happy when I found out. Had he really not crazy. ran for president again, a lot of this would probably not be coming up. Well, well, then, well, then what you're doing is you're agreeing with him that this was Biden's desire to see him get convicted. Oh, there's no proof of that. No, he keeps he saying it, but there's no proof that Biden had anything to do. Well, of with course that. not. But what you're what you're saying is giving credence to that. Yeah. When you say I'm just that, saying that if, if he didn't run for president again, they wouldn't be going after him as hard. I think he'd be in a lot of trouble. You I really so? do it, 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 on any number of things. Okay, you know. I mean, he had been pulling off scams for years, oh, definitely. and it was only a matter of time before they nailed him on one of them. Yep. You know, yep. and the only reason he wanted to be president is the same reason that Netanyahu wants to keep the war in Gaza going, so he, the, so they don't put him on trial. Right. He thinks mm -hmm. that this is some kind of a protection well, against the going world on trial. Has been shot down by other countries, including Biden. Biden shot down the world court and said this is not a a fair move to, to try and put Netanyahu. Well, I think Biden is wrong, and that's why I'm not voting for him. Okay. You know, I think he's completely wrong. Where I mean, when you you're talking, well, you're talking Gaza, you're talking about a human tragedy caused by another human being, and that human being is Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't give up. He won't be happy till that whole place is dust. Mm -hmm. I and think he will inherit a desert. What? I think that's what he's shooting for. He'd like to push everything with a bulldozer into the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, there are children and there are women and there are old people and there are a lot of people that are, want nothing but the best for their families, you know? And they can't have it because Netanyahu won't let them live in, in, in any kind of semblance of peace. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah. I was talking to Phil Alex today. I was. Gonna, I said, "Will you call Alex?" Says, ah, I'm, I don't think he was going to. I thought he might call tonight, but maybe I'll call. I tomorrow. haven't heard from I him. I talked to him. He's not going to call tonight. Why not? I don't know. He just. Did, he said, "I'm not calling." Yeah. I said, "Why not? Give us the other side of the story." He said, "Nobody's going to believe me." He's too busy baking the cake with the cake. Well, what was his <laughs> side of the story? Did he say it to you? Oh, well, he says it's a kangaroo court. Yeah, that's oh, what he told me. The gee. kangaroos are out. <laughs> I'm not that? sure he knows what kangaroo court actually means. But <laughs> I don't even what know what kangaroo court rich. means. Where it's do, like every, where, I, what does that mean? Is that just like a term? Like it's where a, does it come? A, where does it, you know, Where does the term come from? Do you know? I, I don't I know. Don't know. I, I Australia. Australia. Thank you. There we go. Well, Australia, but what? What? Somebody. A bunch of kangaroos got together and held court? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, is that like a term Alex saying it was fixed then? Like, you know, it was it was, a, it was in the bag. Like, you know, he was already guilty. They're, they're using the term rigged. Oh, that's what they so, Well, I mean, I Trump uses all these terms like it's a witch trial. I would, yeah, like to I, ask, I would like to interview Trump and ask him one single question. <laughs> Where were the original witch trials held? Stand on maybe like Atlantic City. When no, I'm Atlantic up. City, right? <laughs> Alex, what about this one? He put on his uh, that Truth Social. He's a political prisoner. Come on, <laughs> not a prisoner yet. Next, you know, he's going to write a book called Mein Kampf. You know, I mean, <laughs> and misspell it. Huh? And misspell it. He'll, he'll, he'll spell instead of mine. Yeah. He'll put M I N E. Isn't this really? Doesn't this scare you a little bit, Josh? I that I think he's a, crazy that, that a lot of what he's doing is just all out of the Hitler playbook. Yeah, I mean, no. Like, did you ever think he? Wait, can I, can, I'm, ta I'm talking to Josh. Yeah, I was going to say, oh. boy, it doesn't sound like Josh. I'm oh, sorry, guys. No, I mean, look again. I get really careful at making, you know, statements about those two men are trying to say that well, because if you do you're, you're really if you compare but, hitler to trump you're really yeah. besmirching a hitler <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know yeah. but but look but i mean i'm just saying that the 
there's no denying that the propaganda that's messaged out there and the machine that puts it out and the methods and all that mirror very well the blueprint that Nazis used to gain power in the late 1930s in Germany. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, like, that's the thing is you have to remember we think of Hitler now as the 19, you know, 44, the 1945, you know, suicide in the bunker version of Hitler, not yeah. as the elected guy that people were really happy got elected in the 19th, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, I mean, there was a time, that's what I was telling you, was they got to a point in Germany where people were very proud to tell you that they were not only a supporter, but that they were a member of the party, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I, we have a lot of that here. And it's okay to be, you know, a member of a party here, to be proud of it and, you know, want to express it and all those things mm-hmm. right up until it becomes violent or you refuse to accept, you know, things like election results or the results of courts and uh, things of that. I mean, when you stop playing within the system, and you only accept things that fit your uh, your agenda, that is very dangerous, obviously, and I think that's where we're at. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, we're right there at, you know, the we're, we're like on the front porch of this whole thing. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's very close. It's very dangerous. It could go a lot of ways. I mean, I still think we have an excellent system and things that safeguard against this and good people and good leaders and places in this country and it's still so many of the things in this country still rely on the people that run them you know the democracy and things like that are as good as the people that run them and i still think in so many cases there are going to be people or generals or whatever scenario you want to lay out that would hear something on the phone and, and just say i'm not doing that you know, uh, that's never happening here. I'm not doing that. And I will raise up an army and beat you to death before I would carry out such an order. You know, so, I mean, I think those things are here. And it is different than it was, you know, in Germany. Those things had eroded over time, but we're in the process of eroding them here, too. That's why I think if we, we just need to get past this election, get this loser out of the way so we can move on re-strengthen <laughs> right see yeah. that's a, that and, and so you know. we and so we can also <laughs> let biden let it become the communist country it was always meant to be right. sure but, yes uh, jeff i mean i think we ought to forget often that trump somehow hires or motivates a whole bunch of people who are people who've gone to prison who've killed other people and remember, he tried to get the vice president who worked for him, try to get him killed. With all, what do you have? 500 people came in and blew up the building? Yeah. And, and you know, uh, some people said that just today that he had a, a whole list of um, prisoners who were there at the show? Where at what show? I mean at the uh, trial. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I heard that. Have, have any of you heard that? You mean that there were people? No, who, the outside Jeff was there. You mean people who attacked the Capitol were at there his were trial? People who were there today, inside, watching. Uh, the trial when when they were making the decisions. I, I, I don't he think. Was there. I, I don't think yes. so. I, I didn't hear that. And I'm I sure. Know. I was if, very surprised when I heard I, it. But and I heard I'm it. sure if there are were people there doing that, okay, yeah. that um, there were people there doing that, that um, we would have heard about it on the news. We the the people over at MSNBC would make it a big would make a big deal out of. You know. Okay, there were criminals who were supporting him. Not making trouble. Not making trouble, but. You mean outside, maybe outside of the uh, co- outside of the court building. In 
in the courthouse. In the courthouse. Oh, I didn't hear anything. But the judge. Didn't hear anything. The like judge that. was. Yeah. And and the judge, by the way, has gotten all kinds of death threats. Yeah. Oh yeah, and his wife there was his wife there after him, and his daughter, I think, also. Well, his daughter was attacked by Trump. Yeah. For God oh. knows what reason. Oh, yeah, because she gave to the Democratic Party. She gave money to the Democratic Party. Like she, that yeah. isn't her right, you know. Yeah. So maybe maybe this judge will have a heart and give Trump four years, take him into custody right there and then. That'd be nice. Well, I'd, I, to begin with, uh, he he'll be able to get out. Uh, you know, he'll post some kind of bail. And There's say no it's bail appeal. if you're convicted of No, crime. but if you if you put it on appeal, you can appeal to the judge to let you out on yeah, bail. Well, he'd, he'd still sit in jail while the appeal's going no, on. No, I'm saying, though, that he can ask the judge to let him out on bail while he is doing the appeal. Oh, he could. He could. Am I right, Josh? I think you could ask for that, but yeah. they don't have to grant it. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I'm the thinking... judge has a lot of power. Well, I think the judge is going to have to be practical about what he does. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, are you going to throw this guy in jail? Yeah, I don't know. You know? Probably not. But, like I said, you know? it just depends on what the normal, what's the typical route they take in these cases. I mean... Well, he's going to show, they're going to say, oh, you know, he's never been convicted of anything else before. And he's been a leader and member of the community. And by the way, have you noticed he's also former president of the United States? Uh, uh, he, and he may be the new president of the United States. Well, that that has nothing to do with it. I mean, yeah. I don't think if at any point he says to the judge, "Well, judge, I can't go to jail right now. I have to go run a campaign." Bullshit. That has nothing to do with the fact that you're guilty, right? Yeah, he, that's he, like he, the dog ate my homework. I'm sorry, you know. Huh? You chose to run for president, but we chose to put you on trial for some malfeasance of, of, uh, of the law. It's one of the you... reasons he didn't get contempt huh? of court, though. What did you say? It's one of the reasons he didn't get nailed for contempt of court. That's one of the reasons he said that he didn't, because he could be the president of the United States. He said you are, yep. you know, he, that, that was one of his comments, is that you could be the president of the United States, so I'm not really going to throw you into jail, but I could, so you better shape up. That was and, one and of his he comments. Was, and he was getting that hall pass based on the fact that he had Correct. been the president and so, was running for the presidency again. So, you know. Yeah. That could be a consideration. Yeah. Well, I'm next time I have anything happen to me and I have to go to court and the judge wants to throw something at me, I'm going to say, hey, wait a minute, uh, I'm running for president. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah that, that'll work. Well, yeah. anybody can run for president, right? Yeah. I was taught in school. Anybody can grow up to be president. And well, Trump, remember when uh, he, Trump is proof of that. Yeah, yeah I'm saying, I, absolutely. Yeah. What remember we, when he said that uh, that he wanted to see his daughter, his son, oh, yeah. go to school? No, go to get, to get his graduation. Son's graduation yeah, from what, grade school or high school? High school. High school. And so, uh, so he wanted to he go went, to his son. Right? Yeah, he, so he, he went and then immediately left, didn't go to any of the other functions that would go along with that, and went off and held a rally somewhere. I think it was the one here in New York, as a matter of fact. And then he might have been in the Bronx. Was that the one? Yeah. He was in the yeah. Bronx. Yeah, he hasn't done any kind of campaigning in New York City, hmm. well, ever, really, to speak of. Yeah. He does every day when he comes out of court. Yeah, he. I love how he holds that behind the fence, the metal fence. It looks like he's yeah. behind bars. I'm sure the yeah. Yeah, really. I'm sure the Secret Service, you know, have to control the area. So would you like to hear? And today he came on and he he came out there and he started rambling. Did you hear it at all? He started rambling. Yeah, he was like losing it like, yeah. a little bit. It was totally rambling. He, he thought he was going to get away with this. I don't... He certainly didn't work very hard at it. <laughs> you know, plus I think he ran out of good lawyers because nobody who yeah, makes... You know, who isn't willing to wind up working for free will work for him. Well, I yeah. think Trump told his lawyers, do this, don't say that, do that, don't do that, don't because say he's that. he's the smartest person in the world, right, Jeff? 
Well, yeah, said, I know it was the, a well, one good thing he did was not take the stand in his own defense. He should have. He no. got he was No, good. no, Tony, it, it's a bad, bad move. Oh, he could but himself, but, right? but when he complains that he wasn't given a fair trial and he wasn't allowed to mount his own decent defense, he had the ability to testify. That's he did. And yeah. that that's and he right? for went that I understand call. why. But yeah. because he didn't, he can't complain about that. Yeah, yeah they call complain anyway. anyway. What what were you saying, Josh? And they're the ones that called two witnesses. They could have called ten more if they'd have had legitimate people to. Right. And the witnesses I mean, they had the were they just. Presented. Weren't they pretty ridiculous? The witnesses. I'm yes. trying to remember who yes, they were. Yes, that's now. what I'm saying. They could only find two people, and both of them were. <laughs> I just don't think they did enough homework. I think they could have mounted a much better defense. Well, he didn't did. have the dream team of lawyers. As he, he doesn't pay any of them, and they're not going to work. And I wouldn't take that guy's case, too. Why would you want to well, nobody ever gets that's paid. That's These lawyers never get paid. Right. And their names are mud. I mean, that's, that's, what that's, to not, Giuliani, that's not the fault of the people or the fault of the court. So, you know, that's no. the fault of the defendant. No. I mean, yeah. You know, he, but for legal purposes, he had competent defense. He had very well-known, very good, very high-paid lawyers. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see if they get paid. It's not as if he's on death row after he had a public defender trying their first murder case, right? right. Now, sometimes those folks have some decent arguments yep. you know, that I happen to agree with at times, you know? Yep. And I, I do happen to agree that if, this, if the state is going to take your life and can spend unlimited resources to do it, even if you are a low-life piece of garbage, you should probably have someone who's been out of law school for more than a year and has tried a murder trial before. I think that's fair. I think so, too. Not what was done to him. You talk about unfair. Now, that's unfair. You know? <laughs> right? He got a personal escort with the streets blocked to court every day, had his ass kissed all the way in and all the way out. And lawyers who probably have a house that costs more than I'll make the rest yeah, of Yeah, I saw life. him going home tonight, hey. and he had like, uh, you know, it was like a five-car uh, uh, group, and uh, right. and and, and uh, uh, cop cars both behind him and in front of him with lights flashing. I don't get that in, in nighttime commute traffic, you know. And Alex, he had to turn around and go back to Manhattan because there was too much traffic to get to the airport, they said. No, he they wasn't going to backtrack back to Trump. He wanted to get out of New York tonight. They said that's what they were saying. I don't saying. know. Can he leave New York now? I guess he can. Has sure. it been yeah, a while? No bail pending that I know of. Yeah, there's no bail. That's yeah. what they said. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I but didn't. He tries to hit the expressway in, in rush hour. <laughs> you who, who, now? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the two kids were there. Yeah. Tiffany was there. Tiffany showed up. Oh, she showed up. I'm losing track of all these kids. Tiffany showed I was up. waiting for his son to correct him saying that we're going to win because we're white. He did say it. He did, he did say it. He did say it. He, he, oh, he, he, what he meant to say he, was because, because, no, he meant to say because we're right. Yeah. Oh. But he oh, accidentally no. <laughs> said because we're white. That's right. It was funny. You should be black. You might get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I mean, New York. You know, it, shit you. <laughs> you like it or don't like it? I was the best fucking episode of Law and Order I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, <absolutely. laughs> well, when they absolutely. sat there and they started reeling these things out and they were coming through, convicted, convicted, convicted. Yeah, I figured at least one or two of these things <laughs> they would go. No, do stuff, right? they, they they don't they don't take it as a blanket and say you're convicted on all of we them. We should have done a thing on that. Each each one of them and say. Well, each one is a separate count. Guilty. Each one is yeah. a separate yeah. count and a separate yes. indictment. And yeah. they had to. Uh, they didn't have to agree to all of them. They could agree to half of them, and the half that they found them guilty on, they could then say, well, what should we how should we play this out? You know, what should he have to serve? Uh, but uh, they, no, it, they, they just all agreed the entire jury on f 34 counts. That's pretty damning. Yeah, okay. yep, it is. It I sure flipped is. over Fox News and it's hard, it's hard to get five of your friends to agree on where to go out to have a drink. <laughs> yes, right, exactly. Exactly. Well, there's our theme playing and. Uh, uh, boy, what a day it's been, I'll tell you. It's, Mars uh, should be fun, though, with this. Hmm? 
Judge Jean's gonna go into menopause again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she went into menopause. Believe me, she went into menopause a long time. Can you go into it twice, Alex, for a woman or no? No, Maybe she no. Can only back. you can, Tony. Only one, once per person. My mother's person. laughing in heaven right now. Yeah. But hated that anyway. one. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Josh, and last night as well, especially in this time of uh, real legal issues, which you're good on. Okay? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Alan, thank you for being here tonight and supplying us with a lot of misinformation, which we always enjoy, because that's the basis of our current society, is all the misinformation that's we can true. spread. I think I'm going to vote for Trump. Oh, no, don't you dare. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jeff, thank you so much. Down you're there. You're welcome. Yeah, you're in uh, where? Georgia, right? In Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, uh, Atlanta, Kevin, Georgia. great seeing you here. Maybe we'll see you again tomorrow night. And Tony, again, uh, very nice to have you here. Everybody give a big wave goodbye. Good morning, and I'll give again. a big Good. wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Our good friend Amy Manuel is next here with The Intersection. She'll be on right after this, taking your calls at GabNet Live. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, of course, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. See you later.